Welcome to Skippers on Lake Greenwood. My name is Troy Lewis. The lake is one of the most fun places to enjoy a Saturday afternoon, or quite frankly, any afternoon. Uh, my goal today is to take you through some important safety steps before your rental so that you can enjoy your rental in the safest way possible. So what I'm gonna do now is take you uh, on a tour of the boat from back to front. While this particular boat might not be the one you're renting, all of the elements are essentially the same. So please have your rental consultant help you familiarize yourself with the boat that you are renting. So all of the gates on the boat have a locking mechanism in place to keep them shut while you're driving. Uh, this one in particular, you lift, it swings open, and then it goes back down in its channel like that. Make sure that before you take off again that you have your ladder back in place, otherwise if it flaps in the water, it has a potential to break. Each boat comes with uh, onboard safety equipment. First thing you have is a paddle. Hopefully you don't need that. Each boat comes with a fire extinguisher. Hopefully you don't need that either. Each boat has an anchor. Uh, when you are anchoring, it's important that you tie the anchor rope up to the boat first. You'll do that from one of the front two cleats and then you can throw it in the water. Each boat will also have a throw cushion on board. What this is used for is if somebody's in the water and they're struggling, struggling, it's generally a better idea to throw them something that they can grab onto to float themselves rather than to jump in and try to save them. Usually what happens if somebody is struggling, they're panicking. If they're panicking, they're gonna drown two people instead of one. You will be sent out with an equal number of life jackets to the number of participants you have on board. It's important to have each life jacket properly fitted to the size of the person wearing it. And I'm gonna demonstrate how to put on this particular model. First, you put it over your head, like so. And then you take the strap, wrap it around your body. And then you buckle it in place like that. Pull it snug, make sure it fits securely and you're ready to go. According to the U.S. Coast Guard statistics, they say by simply wearing your life, life jacket during boating, you'll eliminate your chance of death by almost 90%. If you decide to go tubing, uh, you must have a spotter. A spotter's job is two things. One, making sure that the rope does not get caught up in the engine, and two, making sure they're able to alert the driver when the tuber is either ready to take off or ready to be picked up. To attach the rope, you simply slide it through the loop and loop it around the center pole, and then you're good to go. When you're approaching another vessel, it's best to steer to the right. Um, the other boats should know this as well, but you don't want to count on it. So when in doubt, just steer away. Before you start the engine and before you take off, you'll want to make sure that all your passengers are on board with their life jackets on and in their seats. If you encounter inclement weather, it's important that you take steps to remain safe. First, if advisable, please seek shelter and tie up to the nearest dock. Secondly, if you are out in the middle of the water, you'll wanna turn what's called your navigational lights on. This will alert other boaters where you are in relation to them so you can avoid collision. So your key goes into where it says on off and you have a safety shutoff switch on most boats, which will clip up right here. One side goes there, one side will go on to your life jacket. To start the engine, simply turn the key like that to turn it off in reverse. You have a horn. If the horn doesn't work, you have a whistle, and that's how you alert others of either danger or you need assistance. If the DNR pulls you over for behaving badly, each boat has the license and registration paperwork in this tube. Steering is simple, left and right. Powering the boat is simple as well, forward and reverse and neutral. The boat must be in neutral to start. Pay particular attention to the wind uh, the wind can affect 
steering significantly, particularly when docking. The best way to dock is to do it slow and under control. The most dangerous part on the boat is right here. What can happen right here is if you're not sitting down when you're riding, uh, the dri if the driver is going forward and they put it in neutral, uh, what can happen is you'll lunge forward. If you fall in the water, you still have enough forward momentum where the, the pontoons on either side make a perfect channel that bring you into the engine compartment where you get chopped up and die. We don't want that to happen. Okay. Make sure when you, before you take off, everybody is seated with their life jackets on and that you are properly weighted on the boat. If you have a full load, you'll want to have your passengers sit in the back first and then come forward. Your rental consultant will provide you with a map of the lake, which will show all the areas where you can and can't go, where you can cross under the bridges with the top up, and most importantly, where you can find a good bite to eat. The lake is fairly well marked. If you notice in the water here, we have white buoys sticking out. Those signify one of two things. As is the case in front of our docks, this is a, what's called a no wake zone. The no wake zone simply means when you're under power, you have to be at idle speed. Other areas of the lake have the same buoys with a orange diamond on them. What that means is there's something under the water that can either hurt you or damage the boat. If you decide you want some extra sun, you can put the top down. Your rental consultant will show you how to do your top. This one is like this. And then you gently fold it backwards. that and it is okay for it to ride like this. We hope that this safety introduction has been informative for you, but please feel free to ask any questions you might have of your rental consultant before you depart. We hope that Skippers on Lake Greenwood can be a great part of your day and that you'll come back and join us soon.